A board game getting a lot of attention and it could help a lot of parents have a tough conversation with their teenagers. For generations, the talk has been a mainstay in black families. At some point, most black children will get warnings about how to avoid and survive police encounters. To get that talk from their mom, dad, aunt, uncle, anyone in the family. April Prayer is a criminal defense attorney. She created Trials and Triumphs. She's joining me now to talk about what young people can learn from this game and also respond to some of the criticism. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. How are you? Doing fantastic. Fantastic. First, I want to ask you, why did you create this board game for uh, such a serious topic? I created it because it, I realized that families were giving out the wrong information mm. and that oftentimes people didn't understand what they should relate to their kids and people in different households were all giving kids the wrong information. So I wanted to have a consistent, uniform set of rules that kids could grasp quickly mm -hmm. because children learn so much faster. I think it's 500 times faster by playing than they do by being lectured to. Uh, some of that misinformation, you say parents uh, make three mistakes when they're talking to their teenagers about police. Can you go through those quickly? Sure. Well, one mistake is just simply giving the talk. And like mm -hmm. I said, because it's not uniform, you may say something different in your household than they may say at the very next house next door. And that's problematic if those children all meet up and are together on the street or together in a car and they're all doing different things based on the wrong information. Number two is parents treat the police station like it's the principal's office, like you're going to just go and get a slap on the wrist, like you'll just simply get sent to detention. And they say things like, oh, baby, just tell the truth when they don't know what the truth is. They don't know what their kids are up to, mm -hmm. and they may be getting their children in a lot of trouble instead of simply asking for an attorney. And then the third thing is by being reactive instead of proactive. And we see a lot of this on social media. People are lashing out emotionally, but no one is really taking steps to do anything preventative. And that's really the reason why I came up with the game. And I'm sure your decades long experience in law helped you create this game. I wanna to get to some of the mixed reaction uh, the game is getting. Uh, two big points I've seen made, uh, the first, some people say the game puts the burden during the traffic stop on the civilian while letting officers off the hooks. So what do you say to that and those who believe that? Well, what I say is people put a lot of emphasis on police reform, but let's be honest, regardless of where you stand on the issue, police reform takes time. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's going to happen in the next 30 minutes or the next 30 days. It may take several years. So in the meantime, how does that help you or your child who gets stopped today? And so I wanted something that civilians could use. I wanted something where civilians could feel empowered and take their power back during having uh, during a police stop instead of feeling like they were completely out of control, panicked, and paralyzed. Uh, the other point I see a lot of people making too, uh, some are saying creating such a game vilifies police. So what's your response to that? Well, it actually does the opposite. Uh, the game takes away personality. So I think a lot of times we respond during a traffic stop based on whether the officer is officer friendly or officer unfriendly. And so what I do is, like I said, I give a uniform set of rules. So people respond no matter what the person's personality is, who is approaching their, their driver's side window, no matter what the personality is or the attitude is of that person that particular day. So it doesn't vilify the cop at all. Instead, it gives, like I said, the the motorist or the civilian who has stopped power. And it actually should comfort the police officer because now they know that the person they're interacting with mm -hmm. isn't going to react in some way that is threatening to the police officer. So the, the officer should feel empowered and the motorist should feel empowered so that this will be an uneventful interaction. You take your ticket, you go on your way, or God forbid you're arrested, still that should be uneventful as well. Well, folks, you can find more information about this game. Just go to justusjunkie.store. April Prayer, attorney and creator of Trials and Triumph. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Really good to have this conversation with you. Thank you so much for having me on. Have a great day. You have a great rest of your week, too.